Well, hey, Shooby Doodlers, uh, this is where I left you with my sketchbook last time with this pair of curtains. <laughs> it's all on the TV. Somebody said they really like that. Um, and what have I been doing? Since? I have been so busy. Uh, next week, this week, this week coming, I'm going up to Scotland. I'm going to be spending 10 days at the Wigtown Book Festival. Just drawing, 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 drawing. I'm going to be posting every day. I hope you're going to enjoy it. Uh, I'm doing a Kickstarter and everything. If you want to know about that, click here. Go <laughs> find out about my Kickstarter. Uh, but in the meantime, what have I been doing? Uh, last weekend, or was it the weekend before? I have no idea. I've lost time. I went to the city of Bath uh, and the children's, uh, the, the Society of Authors Children's Writers Group, we were organising a conference, a weekend conference, um, um, for children's writers. We had a lot of people there. It was great fun. I'm on the committee, so I was helping organise the whole thing. And this was my kind of daily thing that I do on Instagram. Click here again if you want to know. <laughs> Get onto my Instagram thing. I do a little drawing every day. And this was my thing. I was getting together my talk. I was giving to everybody about my YouTube story. And uh, this is at the conference. Uh, we had a guy called Chris Barnett telling us all about the future of publishing, which is a fascinating talk. I'd seen Chris um, talking before and I had asked if he could come and talk to us about publishing. And I put, the future is almost here, maybe next week, possibly tomorrow, sometime soon anyway. And um, we have Francesca Simon talking to us. I've known Francesca for a long time. She doesn't quite look like this. I was right at the back of the hall. <laughs> so she was just this little dot that I was drawing. But she was giving us uh, a talk. Uh, you may know Francesca Simon. Simon is the author of Horrid Henry. And she was telling us how um, she signed away the rights to the, the TV and movie rights. And she has never had a penny royalties on all the TV and movies that have been made out of Horrid Henry. It is a horror story. <laughs> <laughs> now, another talk we have was fantastic, interesting story uh, about from Miriam Moss, uh, who's just written a book called Girl on a Plane. I'll put a link to it because you find that really interesting. Uh, Girl on a Plane, Miriam Moss. And she was at Dawson's Field. If that doesn't mean anything to you, the, there were three aeroplanes that got um, hijacked in the late 60s, early 70s, I think it was. And uh, they all got taken to, they landed in the middle of the desert and she was one of the people who got hijacked. And uh, She was on a BOAC VC-10. And I was trying to draw it kind of from memory and from tiny pictures she had up on the screen. And uh, I used to fly on these as a kid and they, oh, they were beautiful, beautiful aeroplanes. Um, and uh, so obviously she escaped and um, lived to tell the tale and write the book, which is very, very interesting. Um, and then we uh, had the poet John Agard uh, talking to us and telling us poetry and very performing. And he was right in front of me. I was on the front row this time. <laughs> he was in my face. <laughs> and I didn't want to be too obvious drawing in case I put him off. And he wrote this great poem called Google, <laughs> which is a big number. <laughs> And you put two Googles together, you get a Google multiplex. <laughs> and uh, he was leaping about telling this fantastic poem. Uh, I came home, been watching um, uh, X Factor, and a little little concerned about Cheryl Cole. Or, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, I can't remember her name. Fitz, Fitz, I can't remember her current name. Anyway, um, she is looking a little thin. And I put, Cheryl needs a big fish dinner. Some people... One person was offended when I'd Instagram that, saying I was being bodyist or something. Um, I just think she needs a big fish dinner, and I'd quite like to take her out for one because I think she's great. And I'd, really <laughs> I'd just like to have a chat with her and uh, see if her eyes really are as as sort of warm and brown and whatever. Anyway, um, so these are other things. I think this was uh, that's meant to be Judy Murray. I, I knew as I drew her nose, it was wrong. If I take the nose out, it's quite like Judy Murray, who's Andy Murray's mum, the tennis player. This is a chef and a comedian. I'm sorry, I can't remember. Now, this is another uh, daily picture. Trying to draw something every day is quite difficult because you have to think what well, I'm going to draw and it comes to the end of the day. I got a glass of beer and I think, oh, a glass of beer. Um, so the next day I drew blackberries. Um, I quite like that little picture. This is all rubbish. 
Uh, now I was trying to draw uh, Simon Cowell, who is a bit of a cartoon character himself. But anyway, so eventually I kind of got there, I think, saying it's a big fat yes from me. So, you know, um, I know some people would kind of get it wrong and just give up. I, I think you just have to keep going until you get it right. And don't worry about making mistakes. I've no idea who these people are. I was watching something on the TV and just doodling again. Uh, I think I think this is from X Factor. I'm not sure. It, it kind of might look like the people on X Factor, but, you know, you only get to see them very quickly. You don't really get and you don't get to know them. I think it's really difficult to to know somebody. And, and you know, when you're just seeing two second flashes of them on the TV. So they're they're snapshot memories, really. Um, and this is from a programme called Mountain Goats. I <laughs> think she's the girl behind the bar. Um, uh, this was another uh, drawing a day thing. And I think I didn't know what to draw. And then my daughter Skyped me. Do, 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 do. So I thought I'll just draw her. Because she was talking and waving her hands about. <laughs> uh, I have no idea who that was. This was last night uh, with the opening of the rugby um, World Cup. I don't know if you're into rugby or not, but I was kind of watching that. And this is the kind of opening ceremony. And this is a picture of... It isn't, doesn't look, actually look like them. They're just got some melange of characters uh, all getting down for the scrum. <laughs> and then uh, this is kind of a, a mix-up of, you know, people from Fiji players. It doesn't actually look like anyone in particular, I don't think. Oh yeah, these are little things I've been drawing because I've got myself a brush pen. <laughs> I had one of these and I lost it and I thought, oh, I don't know. I don't really use brush pens much, but I just felt I was, I just found myself wandering around the house trying to find out where it had gone. So I'll just get a new one. Um, so what have I been doing? Uh, in the meantime, I should have been, you know, filled my sketchbook by now, but I've been doing other stuff. Um, I've been illustrating a whole of my book. This is... Um, going to be these this is the illustrations for my next book which is called dragon white uh, the first book is called dragon gold and then this is the kind of follow-up this is going to be the middle book in fact dragon white and then i have to think about writing dragon red at some point i'll put that more down there um so as you can see i have been a little busy and i've been having to get all this artwork done um and I've been getting my Kickstarter organised and started so that uh, I'm going up to Scotland this week and uh, starting, as I said, my Wigtown sketchbook um, project. I'll be posting pretty much every day, I think. Um, so I hope you're going to enjoy that. There's going to be so much drawing involved and, and a lot of fun, I think. Uh, and these are, again, all these... Kind of, I've been drawing, 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 haven't I? <laughs> I've been taking an awful lot. But here we are, this is little Tan the Dragon. All sorts of stuff going on in this story. That's quite busy. I was very pleased to have put in a Lady Bishop. I live in the Diocese of Gloucester um, and we have the first Lady Bishop in the country has just taken up her seat. So these are, there's quite a lot of drawing going on here, isn't it? <laughs> And I'm getting near the end, I'm getting near the end, very near the end, and there we go. So that is all the drawing that I've been doing since my last sketchbook report. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that, and if you haven't seen my forest sketchbook, why not go and have a look at that, or have a go at the mystery drawing. Either way, make sure you click that logo and subscribe for lots more drawing videos on YouTube here. Uh, go over and have a look at my Patreon page because I'm doing all sorts of courses over there. Lots of videos and assignments, all sorts of exciting stuff we're doing on that. Uh, and don't forget my Kickstarter as well, which is at wigtownsketchbook.com. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.